Let's make it make sense. Be in Dubai. Oh, you got to be in Dubai. Show guy. Hey, now nah, nah, let's see some beer. They got me on EBT. <laughs> All right, y'all back here at Deep South Cutler. Man, we got some cinnamon candy pecan. But look here, these are our friends DK Farms. Been on Get in now! Look what they got for Kevin. Get in now! Look at that. <laughs> my for some reason. These my people, man. These my people. Y'all didn't know we were brothers. Look out. <laughs> look out, Joe. What's Joe? No. Let him tell y'all something. Joe's packing. When Joe come out here now, y'all be easy on Joe. So Joe, he ain't right today. We might have to take him up there to that paddy room up there. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't right today. He comes to the original box and the original shipping box. Mary Meadows, Mary Meadows, you may want to look at this. You'll be here tomorrow. Uh, Mary Meadows. And that's my hand. You don't want, you don't want, you don't want the big display and all that? I got just an eye. That might, be, that might be right up there and better than that, I'm telling you. Uh, we got, he got, look at all the hats over here. Huh? We may have to walk off one of them for a moment. Look at the Olive Greenbone set here. The Olive Greenbone set right there. So our belly is still set. Look at that. Hey, y'all check this out, bro. Get, tell them what you got here. I believe this is original display case with the scissors from the 60s. 1960s case. It's all case scissors. All case right scissors, yeah. They're all original. Y'all check that out right there. These are still yeah. in the original paper. Still in the paper, that old boy. Look at that. That one's got the sheath. That's probably what it costed new in the 60s. Ooh. That was a high dollar pair of scissors was. in that, the 60s. That look. leather shake sheath. Yes, sir. That's what I told 60s. That says 64, 64 right there. 64 right there, yeah. It's got a little bit of this. Look at that. <laughs> that's, that's case. In, that's in my brow scissors, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> Toenail. Yeah. Toenail. <laughs> yeah. Y'all check it out. Look here, he's got some fine Mr. stuff case here. Alone. Cool. Yeah, got some that fine case. stuff. Y'all wait this next display I'll show you here right there. Look here, Stacy Powell. Look here, Cop Road Kyle. Look at that. W.R. Russell, William Russell Case. Look at that set back. That is some kind of fine. Bro, Gary, what's something like that going to run? $1,200. $1,200. That's a steal That's a right there. Deal, yeah. That thing may not leave here. I mean, it may not leave from here. It may stay in, in, in the ship. $1,200. That's a steal. It's got right that COA on the back. Man. Good night. That uh, is. Uh, that's got 10 knives. I'll sell it for 12. There's 10 knives, 1200 on that one right there. I'm yeah. telling you, you make up, did you come up with a price on the scissors yet? I'll make somebody a deal on the display, the scissors and all. $800. $800. Woo! My goodness, y'all. Folks better be running fast as they can to get out here to look at Mississippi right now to trade day. Bro, dear Chris could lock his mind. <laughs> Ain't he tired? Thank you, brother. He lost his mind, ain't he? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I never had one. Never had one to lose? <laughs> I know. I, I, hadn't got to, I ain't got to run far to lose mine. He, I think Brother James, oh. he wants to trade with you right now. Go ahead. I, that's that's bad talk. I'll take one. Man. That's cool. Got some Legos in there. He was a boy from one of the churches Daddy preached at made that for Daddy gave it to him. He said, that's just for show. That will never be sold. <laughs> the little boy made it for the church. I thought that was pretty special right there. There's, there's the world famous Donnie Marshall. Hey, Donnie. Hey, brother. 
How you doing today? Doing well. How you doing, Boy, sir? Oh, you got some nice stuff here today, brother. I appreciate that. Look at that. Nice we have got the fine stuff right there. Doc, what you got? Tell us something. Well, we got a bunch of K stuff. We got some uh, old, older ones. We got some 88s. We got some Mike Mammoth Mike stuff. We got cool. some uh, older trampers. We got uh, museum oh, stuff. Look at that toe right there. Look at that toe in that museum set right there. I'm gonna tell you, that's the prettiest toe as I've seen in one of them sets. Nice. That's the prettiest toe as I've seen in one of them sets right there. That thing ain't gorgeous, boy. Got that 1984 stag, uh, second cut stag, 52 set. Oh, okay, yeah, I've had one of them. Yeah. I sold one of them, but what? Bobby, about a month and a half ago? Yes, sir. Like so sure did. Sure did. It's uh, number 100 on the com uh, USMC, USMC commander. Uh, Reginald Shipping That's a box. number right there, Doc. 100, yes, sir. Hey, that boy, Doc. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Doc, knife, Doc. <laughs> Doc, at least you still recording? Get a Doc. picture of this knife, Doc. Doc, you let me know. Look at that knife right there, Doc. I need to take a picture and send that to you. For a See any number. older turkey case? You got any older turkey cases? Not any older turkey cases. Not That's why I got the new, the new sportsman stuff is all I got. Hey, how y'all doing? I got so many knives here. I just figured somebody would ask about something. We'll uh, we'll see if we got. I think that boy, he made a deal on them scissors. Or you see that scissor set he had over there? I saw. I didn't get a chance to look very much every time I walked away. Just play it on. That's a steal right there. So you on Facetime with somebody? We on Facebook. We on Facebook Live. Oh, okay. You on Deep South? Glad to be here. Live on Deep South Cutlery, what you are. We got live 70, 80 people on here right now. That's where I go, that's where I go. Yeah, I'm pretty popular in the guy. Everywhere I go. How do you do that? Really? The only reason I talk fast is because I'm not Are you omnipresent or what? I mean, I'm just wondering. Who we got here? The world famous, famous Heath Warren, Warren Animals. It is. Y'all check them out right there. Preacher, did, did you see the one? Turn it around, Heath, and let him see it. Yeah, we made we made Jason a special one. Crazy L Farms. Yeah, that's my logo. Oh, uh, here it is. Custom made. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be the busy day. Yeah. I think so. Tomorrow's gonna be the day. I mean, we, this has been surprising me today to have with many people what's had through here already. Got you done, he done bought his little traps out here to you. I done helped him out. I'm selling his traps out here. Hey, what happened? They made them straps didn't come from my shop, did they? Yeah. Okay, I see how y'all. No, 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 no. Yeah, you mean tell me he partnered with you first? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I just, I'll How much did he tell you he's going to let you? How much he going to give you for that? I think he told me 100 feet. 100 feet? That's some serious leather. That, that, some of that is... Uh, it's not leather skin leather. I know, yeah. It, it's uh, some of it is wood <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought my waders, preacher. We got pecans. Yeah. <laughs> we got pecans here. I've been yeah. everybody bragging about them pecans around here. Yeah. You, li you live on Facebook right now, ma'am. So I'm just letting you know that. Okay. So, uh, y'all come I, down and get some pecans. Y'all come down and get some pecans. We talking to folks all over the United States right now. We're trying to make them hungry for, for the for Deep South Cutlery and, and Trade Days. So we're going to do this again about October. So late September, early October, we're going to do another Trade Days. And uh, trying to have some more folks in here. Hopefully we get all that done. But you see, uh, my wife probably, my wife, my wife yes, yes. she has done been here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. Nice here. Those Highland picks uh, uh, stuff needs the job. I agree. I'll agree. His job, he, the only thing he can succeed at is motor mouth. Look at him over there, y'all. Look at him. That's all he's done all day. I have been in the shop working, me and Joe have like crazy. And, and um, 
That's good. And I found out them folks have got some. They got some. Uh, they got some. Uh, some summer sausage over. That's the only reason Stubbs is where he's at. They've been eating a summer sausage. Wind, <laughs> forty degrees and windy here in Kentucky. Well, uh, everybody can't have it. Just direct. Listen, another month. Another month, and we won't be we won't be enjoying it. We won't be talking about how pleasant it is right hey, here. We would be standing out here. We won't be standing here. Yeah, you can hear him. Uh, he, Let's get in there, Brick. They might get in while I finish. Yeah, he's in that chair. I don't think he fits in it. I'm worried about him getting out of it. <laughs> Where's Joe? There's Joe right there in the red shirt right there. See Joe? Joe, me and Joe been working. We've been trying to get y'all's order shipped out. Uh, who that does anvils, that's Heath Warren, Kyle. Heath Warren. Alright, right. I am making poached stuff and fried honey bun. Okay. My special piece. Alright, so I'm going to make some poached stuff and fried honey bun. Alright, I'm going to make some poached stuff and fried honey bun. Who came up with this uh, concoction? Um, Papa and them used to do it at their church. More spoon. They would make it for like a treat for the kids. And it's so gooey and like stringy and like good. Yeah, it's like a little cheese sandwich. Like it's like a little cheese sandwich. Yeah, 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 it's like a little yeah, diabetes. Indeed. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna do we're gonna go that route with, with stuff. We're gonna put some chocolate on there. Okay. Okay. Chocolate or caramel? Both. Both, yeah. Both. So what are you just like melt you just getting that thing hot and melting it? I mean what's the deal? You just here? Get, like the syrup on it, it gets it gets hot and melt. We're we're gonna make a fried um what is this? Honey, honey bun. Honey bun. You ever heard of such a thing? You name it, we fry it. Fried butter. They, they dip them in a little batter. Then they throw them in the deep fry. Okay, now I see what you got going on. Yeah, but then it gets really melty. Okay. Yeah, if I get close to it. <laughs> so, oh, see, so it's starting to slide. It's sliding. So, yeah, I see it frying. Now we got some frying action. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, it smells like a donut shop. All right. Okay. I think we should do caramel. Oh. He don't. I'm sure he's gonna like whatever you do. Do both on it. Okay. All right. Fried honey buns and ice cream. What do you say? What'd you think, Kevin? Babe, you can't tell that ain't no good looking. <laughs> you gotta get you on. We need you today, not tomorrow. Oh. He's right here. Hey, I got him, Richard. Bobby, don't video this. What? I got my boys after you now. You better come on. What y'all All right, guys, here at the table with Mr. Robert Ladner, he just walked off. 
So I guess everything's half price today, ain't it? But uh, look, look, look what we got going on here at trade days. This is Saturday, Saturday morning, beautiful weather. And guys, it's just, man, I don't know. It don't, this is it, Mississippi weather don't get it no better than this. Better than like we have two days a year, and it's like the good Lord bless us in two days. But check out what he's got here. Mr. Robert's local around here and got a bunch of collections. We'll go ahead and try to check out a bunch of these booths today and show y'all some of the stuff. We plan on doing this a couple times. Yeah, look at that big chrome vanadium. Chrome vanadium. He's got some really nice stuff. I mean, he's always on the show. Look at that peasant knife there. Man, that's pretty. Pretty red bone. Pretty bone Whitler. Uh oh. He knocked the, knocked his price tag off. Up here. But he is, you can see what kind of what kind of environment we have here, y'all. He just walked off and said, Can y'all watch at my table for a minute or two? It's just a so we're gonna video. Check out the rat. Yeah, that's pretty. Check out the rat. He's got a couple rats here. Yeah, check out that purple one. It's got the work bolsters on it, slamming the work bolsters. And what is that? Is that a purple Appaloosa bone? Uh, yeah. yeah. It's in the it's in the uh clam shell. Oh, this was cool, Bobby. Check this out. Ducks Unlimited big copperheads. I've never copper. seen one of those. Copperhead. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for something like that, you need to get get in touch with us. I uh, don't see that every day. What's going on, brother? Agent? Half price, Mr. Robert Lip. Look at that. Hey, check this out, Bobby. Old papers down here. You got some of them on, on I bought, I bought, no, no, I got them at the house. Oh, you took them I, I give $5 a piece for them <laughs> like that. I, I'm which I got some of my mom and I dad. That's, that's 30 that's $5. I don't even see nothing on either. I got, I got some really nice stuff. I got an old Whitler here that I thought was pretty cool. And it had a little bit of, of oil spotting on it. That's yeah, an old. That's a pretty one over there with the, a little uh, lab on it. Yeah, I've, I've, done tried to, I've done tried to beat him at that one a time or two. He's been chasing us out. Look at that. Good knife. Look at that hawk yeah, I called my friend when I bought him. Boy Scout knife. He's got a nice selection of knives, y'all. It's really nice, uh, really nice stag trap right in there, sir. Hey, I got a old knife. Look at that limited edition. It's a handle. It's a handle. It's a handle. I don't know if they can leave the case back. Okay. It's a pretty, uh, bone. Is that Cabernet? I think it is Cabernet. Dude, that's so pretty. Wow. We're going we to check out all these booths and let y'all see a little bit of what y'all missing. I made the rubbing in or nothing. But, uh, did, you really, did you really think, Seth, when we put this all together, this many folks would just show up? Oh, I mean, man. I love it. And, uh, they're still calling here. They're talking about the roads. And, and, and the people who are Oh, yeah. 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 You shot to the video. What you get there, young oh, man? Uh, I don't know the name of it. Got you a Rough Rider. Rough Rider. Nice. It's got a Warren Cliff blade. I oh, I like that. I like that Warren Cliff blade. Let's see that, please. Oh, it's got a Warren Cliff blade. Mm. That thing's ready to do some cutting. Mm -hmm. Outstanding. Cool, All right, yeah, we'll do that. Hey guys, look, we're at this next tent here. This is you may recognize this fellow here, Justin Gill. He, the, the owner famous of, of Justin Deep Gill. South Air Guns, located here in South Mississippi. Justin, man, just check it out. Take a look what he's got. Explain us this, Justin. Well, that's a, a rig we were using in South Florida. Uh, uh, Interlock and made these bow fishing arrows for this. So uh, it's an arrow PCP. And we was using them to shoot uh, fish in South Florida, but they just recently come out with a version that's designed around boat fishing. Wow! So you actually shoot the fish with these these uh, air rifles and then reel it in. This one actually killed a deer last year. <laughs> we, we put a broadhead on it. We deer hunt with it. And put a reel on it. We boat fish. Hey y'all, check out Dustin. Uh, Justin, you got a uh, and don't you have a YouTube page? Yeah, YouTube page and Facebook. Page. YouTube and Facebook. But if you were in the big four. Big more air, air rifles, air guns. These things are just amazing. What you got here? What are these? This is 33 caliber? Uh, 50 caliber. That's 22. Here's some 45. Check this out. This is a, for lack of a better word, pellet gun. <laughs> On steroids. Yeah. <laughs> it is a short finger <laughs> of pellet guns right there. <laughs> Check I'll that out. Back. Great look. Tripods. Uh, what's, what's, what's the distance these, these? I killed my black buck in South Texas at 172 yards. All right, y'all, check this out. So, buddy, Mr. Donnie Marshall and little Donnie, what you got, little Donnie? Uh, 
fried honey bun. Man, that's living. You that's gotta get a shot of that. <laughs> there it is. Check that now. Look at that. <laughs> what? D2. Here's that, their company is D2 Cutlery. Is that what you call it, brother? D2 Unlimited. D2 yeah, Unlimited. We got a little cutlery group. There you we go. Got Facebook Live. Facebook, he does a show hey guys. Every, every Monday night like we do on Thursday night. Guys, check him out there on Facebook. Tell us a little bit what you got going here, brother Donnie. Well, I just got some miscellaneous trappers. I got some semi-custom stuff here. Um, some Carhartt, some of the new high banks and longhouse oh, yeah. production first yeah, runs. Very popular. Damascus. Few very, there's some mahogany bone stuff there. We got some cobra tech. You can't get that hard to get that mahogany bone anymore. Uh, check this out. Founder yeah. set. Founder set. <laughs> Y'all know I like that. Mm -hmm. that. I don't know. There's a second cut stag, 52 cent here. Let me shut it down for you. That set looks familiar. Yeah. We've had one of those in before. Yeah. There's a cheetah vault set. There's a silver eagle commemorative set. Wow. And then we've got some more specialty stuff in this case here. Check out the mammoth mic. You'll know we like the mammoth mic stuff. Check this out. Kiss? That's a, that's a, who was that? That's Kiss. <laughs> I mean, I know that's Kiss, but who made that knife? Mammoth mic? Mammoth mic. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are all mammoth mic on the bottom there. And then we got some other pearl and some first sod run buster. India stag. Check out that sod buster. I was Jericho was giving you the business over there. She hadn't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> That's some beautiful stuff right there. It's just a little example of some of the stuff we got. Yeah, come check out Donnie. He doesn't he doesn't disappoint y'all. Appreciate yeah. it. He's got some great, oh, great look, knives. He's still got boxes full. So and it's like he hadn't even opened up everything. Yeah. No, we got boxes under the table, boxes over here. But this is what it's all about, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Heath, what you got going on, going on fellas? Guys, y'all are familiar with Heath Warren. Here, a good buddy of ours, Warren Anvils. And he has a table set up. And, uh, I will say, he's got the heaviest table out here. <laughs> it's definitely not going to blow away. It's not going to blow away. If it does, if it does, we've got big problems. Big problems. Heath, just tell us what you got set up. Just a little bit of everything, huh? We've got a couple of two pound animals. We've got different colors got a variety oh, got some hydro oh, got man. Lead. i hadn't seen that one got the glock hadn't seen that one that's for seth there I'm yeah i appreciate the that just put it in the back we got a new you want to trade <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty <laughs> we got the john deere nine pound ammo look at that y'all look at that y'all nine pound ammo you're gonna have yep. to come pick that up got a couple of knives got signs Mostly got two pounders today. We only got one camo hydro. You did pretty good yesterday? Yeah, we did pretty good yesterday. So, you're not sending these out to be done. He's doing all of these right here in Stone County, Mississippi. Yep. Here in Wiggins. Got a couple of package deals there. Warren Ambles, y'all. He's uh, always on the show. He's got your own YouTube page yep. and your own website. Yep. Look us up on Facebook. Come Warren check them out. Anvils. Everybody in the country is after these anvils. We can For, get you set up. We do custom logos, too. Thank you, Mr. Heath. Thank y'all. Y'all yes, have sir. a good day. Y'all have fun. This is what we lovingly know as the pecan lady. <laughs> I don't even know your name. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Miss Priscilla. Miss Priscilla, Priscilla Breland. Yeah. So, y'all. With, all these, candy with all these knives and guns and everything. It's... We're surrounded by fried honey buns and good pecans. Y'all, these things are amazing. Just a little touch of what we got here at Trade Days, Deep South Cutler this year. Look forward to next time y'all be able to be here with us. Okay, you have a, you have like a, a YouTube page or a- I do not. Or, or an email address, or if you want somebody, can they order stuff directly from you or? Sure. Okay. P.A. Breland at yahoo.com. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Yes, man. You too. See you. Yes, All right, y'all. Check out this. This is our buddies from the Potter's House. and uh, We did a live auction for them a month or so ago. And uh, Brother Bill Cameron, he's he's the... One of the administrators at uh, Potter's House Ministry out of Rig Creek Baptist Church. Brought uh, two of our guys with us. Uh, Mr. Vic uh, Harvey. He's our house guy. He has graduated, been through the program 12 months. Yeah, uh, if you'd have seen the transformation, I don't know if many of you tuned in to our knife auction. It's uh, been about, what, three weeks ago, I guess. These guys got on and gave us testimony. Uh, what God has done through Brother uh, Vic's heart has been amazing. 
Yeah. And I'll let them speak just a minute if they want to. And then we got uh, with us Chad Brooks. He is uh, six months. That's important for these guys. Six months into the program, they get to start working out into the community, finding jobs, back doing you know things that we're supposed to be doing. But most importantly, doing God's work. And uh, at that six month program, that six month time, that's a twelve month program. Uh, they get to go out, do work, earning money. There you go. Getting back to a place to where uh, they, they want to be. Yeah. And uh, most importantly, they know their heart. They want to be in God's will. Yeah. But we're bl we're glad to be here. We've got a few things out uh, showing what we got. But most importantly, we want people to pray for us. Yeah. Amen. Pray for the Potter's yeah. House, the men's addiction home. And, uh, they want to say something. Uh, like you said, my name's Victor Harvey. Uh, Came to Potter's house last year. Uh, I think it's February, yeah, February 4th. Uh, I was I was broken. Uh, a week before that, I died. And they brought me back. Uh, first responders: uh, Casey Rayburn, uh, Scotty Rayburn's son. He's a uh, sheriff's deputy. And he's on scene. And if you looked at me then, uh, during that time, I mean, I just I seen pictures of me and it scares me. I looked uh, not dead. I was 174 pounds. I'm uh, 260 now. Uh, yeah, and uh, eating good. That's now, good. That's good. house. I got saved there. They took me in. They loved me. Red Creek Baptist Church. Uh, they um, they loved on me. They didn't treat me any different than they treat everybody else, and uh, I couldn't believe it. Uh, they helped me along. I got my, my my mind back, my family back, and uh, I owe it all to God and Red Creek Baptist Church and the Potter's House Ministry. Like I said, I worked there. Um, deep um, uh, yearning to serve, you know, give back, because I believe uh, if I can do it, any man can do it. Maybe. Amen. And, uh, but I thank y'all for letting me come to this night for auction and just uh, show what we're about. And uh, thank you for. Uh, I want to thank y'all for uh, letting us support y'all. Thanks. Amen. Yes, sir. I, I just want to say that uh, at the Potter's house, it, it really is God's work. He's working through these people. His, uh, his will is being done. And we're helping people. It's just a blessing to be a part of it, to see the change in all the new men and how they, they come to know the Lord. And it's just it's a wonderful place to be and uh, be a part of it. I'm just thankful for it. If anybody wants to reach out, I'm sure yes. y'all are total not for profit. Guys, it's not going to be wasted. It's not going to be wasted. We're investing in guys' lives, family, really, family. Restoring family. And they got pocket knives. I mean, and we got pocket knives. They're talking about nonprofit. It is. We put God's money to work. When you support the ministry, we're not just sitting there using it to do this or that. We're constantly building. Right now, we are in the process of building phase two of the Potter's House ministry. And what that is, real quick, it's an apartment after the 12 month stay. These guys will be able to come into at a low cost, hardly any money to them to rent. But it is showing a difference of uh, yes, responsibility, yeah. Yeah. and it's through the Potter's House. It is on property. It is still some of the same uh, regulations of it, but they're able to stay there. They have their own room, just like they're in a house, just like an apartment. And uh, it's short-term stay, but can be extended for other circumstances. So we're in the process of building that right now. We have the building built. We have half of it wired, and we're getting ready to start plumbing it. So uh, if knives are not your thing, that's okay. We do uh, have our Venmo park right here for you to partner up with us. But most importantly, please pray for us. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming, guys. You know, I've not seen a Dan. You know, I know. Uh, oh, this is my favorite knives. Really? Hands down, no question asked. Well, see, I know after, after they after they sold everything to Mr. Howard, and then they went, then they went and bought Queen. And I, I know they don't, I, don't care for a Queen. The Dan's really. 100 percent. Dress it. 250. Get that thing. I gotta go get my bill. No, you need to. Marlon. 50 bucks. Bucks. Hmm? 50 bucks. First 50 takes it. Where did you find that? What year is that? That's a new one. Where? That's a new one. No, that's 70s. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I'll buy it. 50 bucks. I think I got mine. No, what? It is a good thing. See that rascal. Check it out. It'd be like Appaloosa bone, wouldn't it? That's pretty. Real pretty. Thank you, sir. They're making the, 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 all these newer guys are making better knives. Oh, this box here. Yeah, you need to get that. 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 Yeah, you need to
look at this box. This is original now. I don't take it out very often. I don't really want to take it out too much time today. Wow. I've got three of the blue against that. Three knives in every box. I make both the green. All right, y'all. Hey, we got our friends here at DK Farms. They drove all the way down from LA, lower Alabama. And, uh, no, upper Alabama. <laughs> drove down here to South Mississippi to set up their stuff. Show us what you got there. A little bit of what you got. A little bit of everything. Lots of cedar boxes. Man. Bunch of cases. Farms, Dan. Bunch of cases. That is cool right there. Yeah, stand Look at that. Go see them. Man, that's beautiful. Coffee table. Oh, yeah. Coffee table. Spill your coffee. Set it in there. Yeah, that's pretty. Hey, this is what I really like. Are these the lift up ones right here? Yeah. I thought these were. You know, listen, these are phenomenal. These are the nice displays, of course. You know, these are just solid. But check out down here, they put a lot of thinking into this. Two boxes. Yep. Y'all, if you're collecting knives, the boxes matter just about as much as the knives. And this is pretty walnut with a leather backing, or a leather, faux leather backing. Uh, how many knives, are, it's corn, how big the knife that is? Yeah. You put a whole set in there. One big fixed blade or a whole set of knives or whatever it is, yeah. but they make these. What got you started? Set. What got you started into making these? Just did it, huh? Yeah. Well, you just Now I'm selling wooden gold. Well, somebody somebody put some knives in. We have to support our habits sometimes, right? <laughs> <laughs> we have to support our habits. Wow. Y'all sell? Do y'all sell online or do any uh, shipping? Hey, we're gonna ship some of these. We got a box. Four or a gift bag. Got a card or something? I don't. You don't. Now, if, if somebody wanted to reach out to you, do you have DK, a, an DK email Farms address? On huh? DK Farms. DK Farms on Facebook. DK Farms on Facebook. DK Farms. Yeah. Look at that. Did y'all do your own own etching? Like, yeah. oh, check this out. Bob. Check this out. Y'all know what that is, right? Oh, wow. It's there. That is nice, y'all. I love the smell of it, too. Look at that, Kevin. There you go. Yeah. United States Marine that. Corps. Thank y'all. Thank you. Wow. Hey, y'all look at this. Well, this is what American craftsmanship is supposed to look like, y'all. Look at that. Look at, look at the stitch work on that. It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. If you're looking for some custom holsters or anything done right in leather work, you need to contact this gentleman right here. I'm Drew Roberts, and I uh, kind of own this little Raptor Free Leather Work. It's just a small family-owned business. We hand make all of our leather goods here in South Mississippi. Yeah. Where you, where y'all located at? Uh, my shop's in Hattiesburg. In Hattiesburg. Well, thank you for coming down for the trade day, sir. Yeah, absolutely. You said you had an Etsy store? Yeah, I got a little Etsy store. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, all those places. Google search of Raptor Free Leather Work, you'll find me. Well, show us what you got today. So we got a handful of holsters, Western holsters. We tend to make a lot of those. Since we're down here at the uh, deep top cutlery, we brought a bunch of pancake knife sheaths and case trappers and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. What got you into doing this? Oh, man, uh, probably third generation. My grandfather was a whip maker. Oh, wow. Yeah, my, my father's been working saddles and holsters and stuff since the 90s. I've got a question. Did he make the boots? No, he didn't. He made the ears on them. Well, that's some sweet boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Saddle you know, bags. Saddle bags too. Oh yeah. Saddle bags. Uh, you do, purses. You do, and you work for like motorcycle stuff and yeah. like that. Yeah, I, I redo motorcycle seats, like custom seats for motorcycles. I uh, do saddle bags, uh, pool bags, all kinds of stuff. Handlebar bags. Outstanding. Y'all look at that. It's like I said. Look, look at look at the stitch work on this. I said this to watch this walk by. Look, this is a throwback to my my childhood. Our great grandmother towed one of these. So she, yeah, she, she she enjoyed her. She enjoyed the secrets back in the day. Look at this. Yeah. 
qualifies the rifle sleeves. Wow. And y'all know the video probably doesn't do it justice, but you can just tell when you feel something that's, that's quality made. Most of the leather I use is from Herman Oak, it's a tannery in Missouri. It's an all American. Yeah, I can the same thing he's been doing it since the late 1800s. Not none of the, uh, not, not the reinforced stuff. Uh, American, American leather. Let's get a good shot of that. Right here in the great US smells like a saddle shop. I'm going into a boot shop. It's beautiful. You guys think I've been here? Look on YouTube. Y'all check out Raptor Three Leather Works. There you go. They've got their. Maybe they can get a screenshot of those that little right in there. And I'm check telling you, y'all, the, the leather work is immaculate. The stitch work is immaculate. I mean, it's just works of art. Thank y'all for coming today, I sir. Y'all have a great day. Hey everybody, this is Bobby at D South Color. I just wanted to stop by one of our vendors, and they have got. Look what they've got going on here. They have brought a, a trailer out here. Look at this. It's it's a store on wheels. And Miss Glenda Breland. Yes, that's me. How are you doing today, ma'am? I'm doing good. How are you? We're doing great. Thank you so much for coming out to our first, hopefully annual trade day event here in Wiggins, Mississippi. And uh what you got going on in here today? My son, Matthew, he was born premature. And when he was three days old, he had a stroke. My goodness. And he is wheelchair bound, wheelchair bound and 100% dependent on family members to take care of him. And even though the insurance in the state of Mississippi say they pay for everything, they do not. And there's a lot of stuff that comes out of pocket that we can't afford. So my family and friends have donated everything out in here and outside. Oh wow! You'll see in a few minutes um, for us to try to raise the money. And 99% of everything is handmade oh, by wow. family and friends. If you'll follow Let's, me. I yes, ma'am. Okay, right here we have kids reading pillows. Oh wow! Look at that. And they'll have a book inside. Oh, cool. We have some books that we'll stick down in there. So your family members have made this, made My all this? My aunt made those, and we're asking $30 for those. They're good presents. Um, my mom, she does all the crocheting. Look at that. And they're different prices. Well, that's a lot of work, y'all. It is. That's a lot of time invested in that. You ever watch somebody sit there and do that? My mom used to do that, too. I don't think she does anything else but that. Wow. And we have our hats down here. Those are the only thing that's not handmade. And we have our clearance stuff. We have all kinds of little babies in here. All kinds of stuff in there. And then jewelry. Now, do y'all usually show, like all the shows around like Wiggins and Stone We Canada? do. We go anywhere from um, Jackson to the coast. Oh. And Louisiana to Alabama. Fantastic. We have wind chimes. Look at that, y'all. I will say this is the fanciest, nicest setup I've seen. Yeah, I'll do this. I got this done up right. And here's our metal art. Look at that, y'all. That's cool. That's really cool. And you don't have to use it for the. Well, sure, sure. Take, take old horseshoes and make something out of it. That's pretty cool, y'all. Look at that. We so appreciate y'all coming out here today. Did you get our worthy geeks? <laughs> yeah, let's look at that. <laughs> who made this? Who made this? Somebody? My here. husband makes our. Wow, geeks. look at that, y'all. Isn't that cool? So this is all y'all's contact information? It is. That's myself. Okay. And that's my mom. And we um, are co-founders of that. Just get, get a shot of that so y'all can see that. So if they if if they saw something in you know today um, in your shop, could they just call you and say, they hey? They can call, text, or email. Perfect. So if but there's... our number one request is 
Absolutely, absolutely. We, well, this is this is what this place is all about. Clean Hancock right here. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know he's bragging. Yeah, they don't do no good to brag. Yeah. It's up to our judges. Up to the judges. Well, we got you. We got you. We got you. We got some honest judges. They can't be bought. I'm gonna tell you that. That's right. We're doing some fellowship. Right. We all love each other and we're Christian people and we're glad to be out here. That's so right. If y'all get a chance, y'all come out. That's right. And what you got to say? Come on down. All right. Hey, you think you might eat some of that? I think I might. You think you might? All right. All right. And Reggie got his table set up too. Look, he's dual purpose right here. That's right. He's dual purpose and he got all his ingredients. You see it? I Look, do. he got his in a special bag. He got right. a special, Nobody know what it is. Special that's special that's, that's, special that's uh, Daniel's special bag. Right. Yeah. It's kind of, I think this team kind of like, kind of like the, 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 the Deep South team over there. Call it the Marinetta bag. Okay. <laughs> Marinetta bag. <laughs> <laughs> I think this team kind of, you know, one does all the talking and one does all the cooking. Is that where it is? <laughs> <Rotating. laughs> all right, good luck, y'all. Thank you. You're supposed to work as a team. There you go. You ain't stealing nothing from Kevin now. I done told him I'm beating him. Let's see. You done told him you beat him? I done told Kevin I'm beating him. And you ain't stealing my secrets now. Probably the right thing. Okay. All right, Look, there you go. I think he's already won. He brought cornbread. He brought, yeah. <laughs> That's the first cornbread I've seen. Now, really. I think you've already you got already it. You already well, you won up on everybody else. two things that go with you then. It's either saltines or cornbread. You're right. There you go. You're exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, they got it. They fixing to start stinking it up over here a little bit, ain't you? A little bit. They fixing to start stinking it up over here. So we got them, got them going on. They, they coming on in. I fact that he ain't got here yet. He must be overconfident, you think? I think so. He must be overconfident a little. He ain't got I think he probably yet. got it already done up, ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we see team, Warren, Warren Anvil team. I don't see them cooking yet. Champion right there. Kevin, see she, Kevin Mormon that built up she, for us. She's getting it ready. Look at him. Yep. Well, These pots are bubbling all around right here now. Oh, oh, so that's the winning pot right there. That's the winning pot? He got some upper sleeve. Uh, well, I'm telling you, I believe it. Be some chili that's just enough for one good. Well, that's just enough for one good. I don't know what all's going on, but uh -huh. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all this. No joke. Uh, hey, yeah. I did get put. Uh, I did, I did yeah. taste a little bit of joke a while ago. Uh, I'm telling you, you gotta step it up. Make sure it's right. Make sure it's right. Good stuff. Without, we're going to have a good time here. Indeed. Yeah. Thank y'all. Appreciate you. Thank you, Paul. Have a good day. Warren's Apples. Thanks, man. And Thank chili. Hey, guys, look. We're going to be on, be back on a little later. Uh, y'all see people are gathered around here. We got, we got a pretty good turn up today. Well, we appreciate y'all coming in. It smells real good out here. It's wind are blowing and the smell of onions and seasoning all in the air here. And uh, but y'all tune in. We'll have the winners in just a little while after it's all said and done here. Preacher, right we here. got, it smells like onions, cedar, and America. America, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. That's right. Y'all tune back in a little bit later here at Deep South. The Trade Days, 2024. Get it just a second. Hey, check out here. This is the people who are running the show. Ms. Avis and Brother Mike. <laughs> Run the show, ain't you? We at the head I'm of the running. table. Yeah, run the show. Well, viewers, I'm gonna tell y'all. I almost, y'all almost lost Miss Avis. Cause see, Kevin, he's such a celebrity because y'all have made him such a celebrity <laughs> that I sat out here 30 minutes before I can set up, waiting on my husband to bring me my stuff that he decided to put in his truck. Oh no! I get to the office and he in there interviewing. <laughs> <laughs> you all have really made my husband a celebrity yes, and I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> we love you, Miss Avis. I love y'all too. Thank, Thank y'all for everything. Yes, ma'am. We love you. <laughs> Here. This is our friend, Brother Van Gray. Me and him actually go to church together oh, up there in the big yeah. city of Melbourne. Oh, son. Give it, you got to stir that. Oh, yeah. Lunch time. You got to give Play that up. a stir. Yep. See what you got going on in there. That's that cowboy chili. Look at that, boys. A little bit of everything in there, baby. He's got it going on. Look, he even got the cornbread to go with it, y'all. <laughs> this, this man, he's he just thinking about all of it. He, he didn't come 
to make chili. He comes to win. Every time, baby. That's if you ain't going to do it right, don't do it at that's all. That's right. That's fine right there. Right. Oh, that smells good. Look at the get, get a load of that. Come down here to Deep South Tucker. I know you missed it this year, but next year it's going to be even bigger, y'all. Oh, yeah. Enough people show up next year. I'm able to bring my big pot. There you go. It ain't going to buy like this. Amen. <laughs> And you see, no chili was filled in the making of that shirt, was it? I can't believe he ain't getting nothing on that shirt. He calls himself a chili judge. Hey, can you get Kevin to polish that belt up for my wife? He polished it. I ain't worried about him. I'm worried about this little one right here. He's going to lock up there with me. Yeah, man. You've been talking Guys, we're trying to, I think we got everybody. All right. Everybody's here. Time for the big announcement. All right, y'all. All the talk has come down to an end right now, okay? <laughs> All the bragging is over with. Uh, we got a a judges champion. Thank our judges. Mr. Loretta, bro, Mike, and Booger, wherever he's at. <laughs> Yeah, he was, yeah, he was he walking is. around eating chili before we got the judges together. Right? Go, all right, all the participants come out here in the middle. There we go. We got Hank's good. We got Team Melvin. Hank's good. We got Team Fat Daddy. We got Team Warren Anvil. What you doing out there, Rocker? <laughs> you them? Okay. <laughs> and you got Deep South. All right, I've got a, a a winner for the judges, and I've got a People's Choice winner. Okay. Uh huh. I'm gonna call both of them to the front. I need to come to the front. Hey, I forgot Brother Reggie and right there too. There's <laughs> Team Hancock right there. Too. All right, I need Team Melba to come to the front. Oh. And I need Team Deep South to come to the front. Oh. Oh. The judges champion, the judges champion was Booth number five. There you go. Woo! Kevin, 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 Kevin. Look here, look here, look here, please, Kevin. Wait, uh, look here, you need to hand this to Van. You need to hand that to Van Gray. Hey, but listen, Kevin, the people's choice was Team Deep South. <laughs> the people, the people short, there you go. Yay! <laughs> Joe, Joe, the people's choice was Team Deep South. Listen, thank all of y'all. I'm telling you, thank all of y'all. Good job, good job. Good Appreciate y'all. Good job. Uh, it's, it's been a blast. Hey, y'all, y'all stick on your calendars. Put that on your calendars. October the 4th and 5th. October the 4th and 5th. Going to be a barbecue, a smoked meat cook-off. A smoked meat, ribs and chicken. Ribs and chicken cook-off. October the 4th and 5th, okay? October the 4th and 5th. Y'all, hey, let's see that hook right here. We need to get this, get this thing right here, honey. Y'all need to get that. <laughs> 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 Guys, it's been a good deal. I'm, I'm telling you, it's still. We hold on, what is it? Words, brother. Good hey, job. Hold on, hold on. Let's hold on. get up here. Hey, get all the vessels get lined up. Hey, I need all the participants to line up here so we can get them. Man, you get in the middle of. Yeah, he's got to have the bed. Hey, to get in the middle of. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get you next time. There you go. Come on. You just had that cornbread. Yeah. Hey. Just uh, next year, he's gonna be the man. It's good. I love it. Poor Kenny. Poor Kenny said, I bet Thug's headed giving that bell away. Y'all, thank you. Daddy, you want this thing back? Yeah, we'll take you. Thank you. All right. I don't want to. All right. Woo. Good job. <laughs> <laughs>